Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is College Toot. And so I was kind of taking a look at my old videos, and I figured out that I sound like a douchebag in about 100% uh, of them. And so this one's probably going to be no different, but this one's actually kind of cool thing. I got 100, 100 subscribers, which I didn't dream of ever happening. It's not that much, but I didn't ever dream of it. But in this one, we're going to show how to make, using Google Maps, we're going to show uh, how to make a globe, and your home is going to be the um, center dot on it, so it'll be all good. So what I want you to do is I want you to go to Google Maps and then go to Satellite, but then you don't want to see these labels. Come on, man. Like, on a satellite view and from space, you don't see labels like that. All right, so what I want you to do is I want you to pick your hometown. But before you pick your hometown, I want you to zoom out all the way and see we can get on the same zoom level. So I'm on all the way, zoom out, zoom in once, zoom in twice, zoom in thrice, right there to number three. I mean, that looks pretty good. Looks whatever. Um, so if you're... If your hometown is in New York, my home is New York, then put over here, you know, but then make sure you're out at the three level zoom. If you're in England, you know, then do England or whatever. If you're chilling in Africa, cool, do whatever you want. I'm going to do the Bay Area because, I mean, you can't really get any crazier than the Bay. So with the Bay in your center, I want you to click and hold and I want you to drag up. So keeping the uh, Bay with the, ho it's still horizontally um, center, but it's not vertically center. I hope I used the correct terms there. Uh, we'll see. And so I want you to go up. So the bay is still in the center, just it's way down there. And so I want you to come up to uh, the North Pole up here, and I want you to click Print Screen. It's on your keyboard. Mine's above the backspace to the right of the NumLock. I'm sure you can find it. Mac users, I don't have a Mac. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure you could, I'm sure you'll figure it out. So click Print Screen, and you go, okay, cool. And so now you took a Print Screen, which is like a screenshot of your, you know you know desktop and so then I want you to go to Adobe uh, Photoshop then go file new and it's cool because it already sets the dimensions of your print screen of your screenshot right there and so you go cool and you see mine's super long because it's I have a double desktop and so it's like you know horizontal or whatever but yours should be you know see I have this I have this thing shown over here so I want you to take out your crop tool and I want you to crop away all this crop um, right here and so if we take a look um, what we don't want is we don't want any of these like toolbars. We don't want you know any of these lines down here at the bottom. So I just want you to print out this map part. So pretty much just the satellite. Then go all right, cool. So now you have this. Then I want you to come back to Google Maps and I want you to keep the bay horizontally center. And I just want you to move this up just about ha until it's about halfway. And then go print screen, cool. And then. And then we're going to put this, paste this in there. But what's cool is that you've already centered it pretty much. Uh, I mean, you've already taken away, like, the crop is the area that you wanted. So you just put that right there. Cool. I mean, it looks pretty good to me. It looks whatever. And so I'm just going to pause this video real quick. And so I'm, I'm going to do the rest of them. I'm just going to come down here, keep the bay in the center, and just scroll it about halfway up. And then print screen again and just paste it in there. So I'm going to finish this off uh, all the way until the South Pole. And then I'll be right back. Hold on. All right, cool. So I'm chilling, hanging out down here in the South Pole. But what you'll find is you have all these layers on the side. But before you can like align them and do whatever you want, you'll see if you move if you move this guy around, you still have all the extra stuff hanging out, and you don't want any of that. And so a quick way to get rid of all that stuff is just come over here to your crop tool. I want you to select the entire thing, and then click OK. So really, you cropped nothing, or I mean, you, nothing visible. But then you see I took away all the extra stuff off that extra layer. Cool. Next thing we're going to do is make this canvas a little bit bigger. So zoom out, take your crop tool, and then I want you to do whatever you want, uh, click a corner, and just drag out, which is kind of a cool way to like make it bigger, you know what I mean? And so let's go OK, and then click OK. So now you made your canvas huge. And then just you, you can kind of see here that these are all my layers. They're all just hanging out, not doing anything. I don't know. Do it, You do whatever you want. But So what I want you to do is I want you to click and select all these layers and you know the drill edit auto align layers and then just go auto because you don't know what perspective cylindrical or reposition means anyway and I don't either so it's all good but uh, I'm gonna pause this for you so it doesn't take too long hold on alright cool check it out so pretty much what it did is it al aligned all of these layers right here and you can see here that we don't need any of this like extra white space so just take out your crop and get rid of all that extra stuff um, cool and it kind of snaps to your layer outline and if you don't want it to snap you can just go to um, view and then you can unclick snap right here I mean sometimes it's helpful but if you're trying to be nitpicky sometimes it's not helpful then just click OK so now you have your thing and the bay is kind of in the middle but kind of not really 
And so I'm just going to take a little more out of there because I don't really want that bottom stuff. I mean, it's pretty good except that top is giving me a hard time. And see, like, I don't know if it can, I can show it right here. I see this little line right at the top. And so this is where I don't want snapping. And so if you see here and I'm clicking, it just snaps directly to the top right there. And I don't want it to snap. Come on, guys. And so I'm going to take, I'm going to go no. I unclick snapped. And see, now it doesn't snap anymore. And so I'm just come down right there. Cool. Just take that little bit off the top. All right. Looks good. Next thing we'll do. We got to make this a little bit bigger though. Um, cool. And so we got to make this into a little bit of a square. Go okay. So here's your little thing right here. Oh, we still have all these layers over here. You don't really want them. I mean, you you could have them, but I'll just go merge visible or merge layers. See, then you have that. Then you go layer eight, which is my layer. Right? You might have layer twenty or whatever, and then go to distort, and then spearize. Kind of sounds like a cool word. And then I want you to go to 100% and normal and go okay. And so there's number one, distort, spherize. You can just go to filter and it'll be right there, but I'm just showing you guys anyway. And here's number two. And then we'll just go right here, spherize, or you can click control F, which will do it just over again. And so then here you go. So the earth is kind of round, but I mean like, it's not real. I mean, if you're trying to be nitpicky about it, it's not like great. And so here's a little bit better, but then you can see my spot's a little blurred out. And so it's preference for you. It's whatever you like. Um, cool. And you can see that we're at, or you can't see this right now, but we're at 10% zoom level. So this is a big file. Um, you know, it's kind of whatever. And so just, so that's pretty much the effect right there. But just to like make it a little more believable, we just go black, background black, edit fill. We go, okay, cool. So I'm at 10% right now. And I just got, I, I'm going to make this smaller because, I mean, like, this is really, this is huge. So I'm going to size this down about half, which, you know, cool. All right, so that's a little bit better. So then you go, and there's a million effects you could do to add some stars, you know, like there's a bunch of things you can do. Uh, we won't go over that right now, but what, what we will go over is I want you to make a new layer above your earth, and then I want you to control click the layer thumbnail of the earth. And so you can see here that it made a little uh, selection on it. Then click up on layer nine, and then take out your paintbrush tool, which is under the gradient tool. Make sure you have a black as your foreground color. You can click D to set that as the default or whatever. And then I want you to just cover it. And then deselect that. As you can see, there's a little bit, little bit of an eclipse line poking through right there. It's not really what you want. Then go Control-T. And then I want you to zoom out so you can see this a little bit. And then I want you to hold down like that. And just click. And so you kind of get this cool shadow effect. I mean, that looks pretty good. But what shadows that... Um, which shadow is that straight? And so I want you to be good Photoshop users. Like, think about this. What should I do to blur this up a little bit so it looks better? Hmm. What blur does 90% of blurs ever, like, they're always Gaussian blur. I don't know why. Gaussian, Gaussian, I've heard a million terms. It's all, it's all the same. And so just turn this up a little bit. Mine's going to be at 85%. Crap. Uh, 115%. Let's just leave it there. Then you can move this layer. And so you can kind of see here that there's the whole thing, if there's a little uh, little shadow. I mean, you could do a bunch of things to this. Um, just an example, double click this. Let's just add some, uh, let's add an outer glow to it. You know, let's get a little crazy right now. But they always have this yellow. I don't know why they have the yellow. But let's go to a nice little, nice little blue. I mean, just get a little crazy. Turn up the size a little bit. See, that's, way, that's a little weighty, not good blue. it's getting worse whatever turn the opacity down a little bit I mean I guess that's a little bit better so there's your earth thanks for subscribing guys 107 subscribers today today's the October 13th it's way cool more than I could ask for love it um, I'll talk to you guys later have fun message me with any tutorials or ideas later